In this video, you'll learn how to create a color gradient background in both Photoshop and Illustrator. I'll show you three unique ways I make color gradients that you may do differently or may not even know about. Starting in Photoshop, as you see my background is just a yellow rectangle and I also have a new layer created which is going to be for our gradient. So let's go ahead and select our new layer and then let's go and select our brush tool and we want to adjust the hardness and size. I find I get the best results when my brush is at a 0% hardness and for the size to be fairly large and you'll see why that's important here in the next step. So go ahead and play around with your brush sizes and colors and make a pattern that you like because next we'll make the transition between the colors smoother. So once your pattern is created the next step is to go up to filter, blur, and select Gaussian blur and here's where you can start to blend the colors together more to make a smoother transition. In Illustrator, once again, my background is just a yellow rectangle. Let's select that shape, then go up to Object and Create Gradient Mesh. Here you can increase or decrease the number of rows and columns, really just depending on how much detail you want, but I think three by three is a good amount. Once you create your gradient mesh, you can go up to your Direct Selection tool and then select any of these anchor points and then simply change the fill color to change the color of that section. You can change the position of your gradients by dragging around the anchor points, and you can also change the shape of your gradients by dragging around the handles connected to your anchor points. Now the last and easiest way in Illustrator is by once again selecting your background and then selecting your gradient tool, which you can also find here at the side. You want to select your freeform gradient option, and as you see that brings up four circles at each corner of our shape. What you want to do is to select one of those circles, and then you can change the color of that section by double clicking on your fill. Repeat that process for every corner, and you can add another color just by clicking anywhere on your artboard, and you can also change the size by adjusting your outer circle size, and you can adjust the placement of your gradient by just dragging these circles around your artboard. And now that you know how to use a gradient to create a color background, check out this video where I'll show you how to use a gradient to add a grain texture to your artwork in Illustrator. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.